What's up everyone, it's Castle Gaming here and welcome back. So guys, we finally found a new server, it's a new server to play on, which is good. Uh, the only downside is I've had to start again, I'm level 32. Well, there was not too much of a problem. I've got most of the stuff I want, I'm just advancing to all the ramshackle, not ramshackle, flak armor now on all the other metal stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, I want to show you our new base location, like what our plan is on building. So... Uh, I'll find the coordinates after and I'll probably put my, some overlay on the video because I don't know them right now. But we're in this little cave area, roughly in the center of the map. Uh, I can't really point it out on there. But we've decided to build in this cave and uh, we have plastered it with doors. Uh, I do know that there's a four times damage timer on cave doors. That's why I've like pushed loads of them out here to stall, uh, stall the raiders. But once you go in, it's just... A huge row of doors you have to get past. Whoa, what's going on? So we keep our small pets in here. Delos, Raptors. I think you can fit a Carno in here as well. Anything bigger than that won't fit. And it's got a bit of lag for loading the cave. So we got... <laughs> We've got so many, so many, so many gates. And in between the gates where we can't place them, we put these doors. These will eventually will be metal and will be better place as you can see there's massive gaps that'll be fixed soon uh more gates here i doubled the gates here because why not um, i'm not sure if anybody's reading us i'm not sure if grenades do double not double damage you know if they do splash damage and destroy the second wall as well as the first one at the same time i'm not quite sure but that's just there to stop them getting out anyway uh stop them getting in it getting in uh down here we have another door and another gate. Couldn't fit a gate here, so we just got a gate frame to stop and walking around the side. Right here. We just get stuck. And here we have another gate. And another gate. And another gate. And this is the last gate right here. If I can get through that one. I always close them behind me. I always think that someone's following me around. So this is where our main base is going to be. It's going to be in this area here. As you can see, this is all open, all this open area. Going to build around here. There's loads of room for us to build in here. Uh, when I was in Beer Sports on the old server, the server EU official server 194, the one I got raided off actually, the the one that I put up that video about losing 700 hours on. Uh, they changed their name to Beer Wogs or Wogs. I don't know. They keep changing it all the time. But once I was in, when I was in their base, this is the type of base they had. There's all that area up there, which I just showed you. That spacious area, and all those doors like we've done there. We've kind of copied them in that way because they were actually really strong and not really easy to raid. I know like there's four times damage and you can blow them up quite easily. They're still a pain in the ass to get through, especially when you fill that tunnel with turrets eventually. So I got another gate here just to stop spiders, snakes, and scorpions running out after us when we uh, being hunted by them. This is just our little metal mining point because there is metal, obsidian, and crystal and stuff down here. Most of my levels I've got from skilling in the cave. Um, I don't think there's any spiders on. Oh yeah, there's a few over there, but I'm not gonna fight them right now because the video go on for ages. But I've got most of my XP from doing that. And the server's lagging, but. I have been debating whether or not to um, do a series on this. My only fear is that once I get to like episode 6 or whatever, say if I get raided, I'm just going to lose the motivation to carry on doing the series or carry on playing the game in fact. Because I have started playing the game quite a bit less since we got raided. Like I'm still on it every day. But like, I'm only on it for like 2 or 3 hours a day now, I used to be on it like, second I get home, I'd go on it, stay on it, like, put so much work into the base and then come off when I had to go. But now I'm only like on it for 2 or 3 hours a day. Um, this base is going to be very, very good, I can't wait to get it all set up. Like, our chest area is going to go here, there's going to be all foundations down there, there's going to be a massive floating platform here of chests on it. I'm using the same layout as the one on the old server. And then there'll be some sort of like building up here as well, which is pretty cool. But we have survived two or three nights now with these doors up. I don't think anybody really wants to raid them because look, one grenade does 1,400 damage to a gate. When these are metal, they have about 10k. At the moment, they only have 6k. So 
You're only going to need about five grenades to get through each one of these. But there is a lot of them. I know grenades are really cheap to make. Um, hopefully we'll get some metal gates sooner rather than later. Can't wait to start making them and getting this base uh, really, really strong. Um, in the tunnels, however, these places like here, I think I'm going to end up putting turrets here eventually with a uh, separate generator. And we have loads and loads of chitin down here. That's one of the benefits of living in a cave. And there has been lots of rumours on the forums, well, and all other servers, that caves will be wiped. Caves will be wiped on this update just to scare people about living in them. We've decided to live in them now because we've just figured out that no base on land is safe. So we used to live on that small island that you would have seen if you watched any of my last videos. The strongest people on the server, well they were the strongest, had the most OP base ever. Basically you couldn't even get on that island. It was completely smothered in metal spikes, gates, turrets, everything. The base was awesome and they've now been raided. Which to me shows that every single online base, on land base, in the game is not really worth having. Like with a cave you can just block up all these uh, tunnels down there. It needs to be, I can do something extremely crazy and probably fill the entirety of this valley with these doors. Which will piss people off a lot. But... I don't really know what to do at the moment guys on the game. I'm still posting all these update videos for you and stuff which is pretty good and I, I enjoy doing those uh, in terms of actual gameplay like doing a series or anything I'm not so sure at the moment I've got a few tribe members on uh, we don't really know what we want to do we're just kind of taking it slow because if we like advance too far into the game now we're just gonna well, there's a high chance we're just gonna get raided and lose it all so we're taking it slow I don't know whether I'm going to do a series, it really does depend whether you guys would want to see one or not and whether it's worth putting the time in and getting raided after it at the end. Uh, however, if I do get raided sometime soon into being, being on this server, and it is an official server, um, we will be moving over to a private server. If not just a server with just us on it, and I'd probably like separate our tribe into two teams. We could probably have like some little battle or something. Or I could probably just join some random other private server that's out there. I know two guys down in my comment section have given me two IPs to private servers, and I'm very thankful for that. I'll probably check them out at some point. But for the times being, I don't really know what to do. This is pretty much where I'm going to leave it. So guys, uh, I just want to thank you all for watching. Uh, thank you for all the support on all my other videos, all the likes, all the comments, and all the shares. I really, really do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel and you want to see some more art content, don't forget to subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. And I'll see you in the next video.